Hello and welcome back to Amateur Money. Today, we're embarking on an exciting journey into the vibrant world of entrepreneurship, with a laser focus on how to craft a brilliant business plan for your startup debut. If you're visiting us for the first time, go ahead and tap that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest insights. Whether you're a fresh entrepreneur sprouting your first business idea, or an ambitious business enthusiast dreaming of building an empire, this guide has been tailored for you. We've designed this content to be as user-friendly as possible, breaking down complex concepts into bite-sized, digestible pieces. This isn't just a guide, it's your friendly roadmap to entrepreneurial success. So, buckle up and let's kickstart this journey together. Alright, without further ado, let's dive into the world of business plans. We will start by defining what a business plan is, then break down the key components that make up this vital document. From there, we'll discuss why this blueprint is so important for both you and potential investors. So, let's get started on understanding the foundations of your business journey. What exactly is a business plan? Picture it as your business's very own GPS, guiding you through the intricate journey of entrepreneurship. This essential document is a fusion of your visionary business goals and the strategic steps you've devised to reach those heights. But that's not all. It's also your golden ticket to attracting investment. Just as an explorer needs a map to embark on a journey, investors and lenders need your business plan to understand and believe in your vision. It reassures them that they're backing a ship that knows its destination and has a well-thought-out route to get there. So, remember, crafting a meticulous business plan isn't just an option, it's your pathway to success. Let's break down the key components of a business plan. Executive Summary Think of this as your business's grand introduction, the one-minute commercial that makes everyone sit up and take notice. It's a succinct yet captivating snapshot of your business, crystallizing what you do, the unique problem you solve, and why your solution stands out in the market. Imagine being in a high-speed elevator ride with Elon Musk. You have just one floor's time to get him interested in your venture. That's what your executive summary accomplishes. It's the sizzle reel of your business, designed to hook your audience and leave them craving to know more. Company Description This is your opportunity to paint a vivid picture of your business, a behind-the-scenes tour if you will. Here, you delve into the nuts and bolts of your company, its legal constitution, geographical base, the product or service it brings to the table, and the audience it caters to. Consider this the autobiography of your business, a narrative that brings to life its structure, operations, and the people it serves. It's the chapter that takes your audience from a bird's eye view to an intimate understanding of your business. Market Analysis Here's where you play detective. You're diving into the ecosystem your business will thrive in. It's about dissecting the industry, the market currents, your competition, and those you seek to serve. Are you launching a cozy cafe in a town that adores coffee, or unveiling a disruptive tech startup in a crowded marketplace? Think of this as your business's reconnaissance mission. It's about understanding the landscape and identifying the gaps your business can fill. So get your research hat on and map out the territory that your business is venturing into. Organization and Management So, who's steering the ship? This is where you outline your business's structure, spotlight your dream team, and elucidate their roles. It might just be you and your co-founder at the helm, or perhaps you've got a board of seasoned industry wizards guiding you. Consider this your business's family portrait. It showcases the structure that holds your business together and the key people who make the magic happen. It's about giving your audience a sneak peek into the human side of your venture and the roles they play in bringing your vision to life. Services or Products What's the star of your show? This section is all about showcasing your product or service in all its glory. Here, you delve into its specifics, the benefits it brings to the table, and what sets it apart in a sea of alternatives. If you're unveiling a groundbreaking app, for instance, shed light on its unique features and the value it offers users. Consider this your product or service's personal billboard. It's about highlighting the value you're offering to the world and why it's not just another run of the mill product or service. So, let's roll out the red carpet and give your star offering the spotlight it deserves. Marketing and Sales Strategy How will you draw in and keep your audience? This section is your game plan, outlining your marketing and sales tactics. If you're inaugurating that dreamy cafe, 
For instance, you might want to detail your social media blitz, alliances with local businesses, and enticing loyalty programs. Consider this your business's action movie trailer, showcasing the exciting plans you have to woo and win your customers. It's about giving a glimpse of the strategic maneuvers you'll employ to make your business a crowd favorite. So, let's get the drum roll going and reveal your master strategy. Financial projections. This is your chance to reassure investors that they're betting on the right horse. Here, you present a realistic forecast of your revenues and a break-even analysis to illustrate when you anticipate your business to shift into the profit lane. Think of this as your business's crystal ball, offering a peek into your venture's financial future. It's about showcasing that you not only have a stellar business idea, but also the financial acumen to drive it towards profitability. So, let's crunch the numbers and present a compelling financial narrative. Funding request, if applicable. If you're seeking external funding, this is your moment to shine. Clearly specify the amount of capital you're seeking, and elucidate how you intend to use it. Whether it's $10,000 or $1 million, precision and clarity are key. You should include a detailed breakdown of how the funds will be used. For instance, you might need $300,000 for manufacturing, $200,000 for marketing, and $500,000 for hiring key personnel. It's also helpful to explain how this funding will help your business grow and reach its goals. Remember, investors want to feel confident that their money will be used wisely and lead to a successful return on investment. Consider this your business's wish list. It's about articulating what resources you need to fuel your business's growth and how you plan to allocate them effectively. Transparency is vital, so let's be detailed and clear about your funding needs. The process of creating a business plan might feel a bit like climbing a mountain, but don't be daunted. Remember, your business plan isn't a statue, it's more like a garden. It's an organic document that's meant to evolve and bloom as your business sprouts and matures. It's your trusted companion on this business journey, not a rigid chain that binds you. So, don't let the quest for absolute perfection keep you from embarking on this exciting trek. To help illuminate this further, let's walk through an illustrative example. Let's imagine a tech startup, christened Techie, aiming to launch an AI-driven language learning app. Their executive summary could be a power-packed punch like this. Techie is an avant-garde startup harnessing the prowess of AI to redefine the language learning landscape. Our app, Langmaster, is a harmonious blend of cutting-edge machine learning algorithms and an intuitive interface, designed to deliver tailor-made language learning experiences. As they delve into their market analysis, they might uncover a rising tide of interest in language learning, fueled by an increasingly globalized world and the surge in remote work culture. This knowledge empowers them to position their offering to meet this burgeoning demand. In their marketing and sales strategy, they could outline ambitious plans for targeted social media campaigns that resonate with their audience's aspirations and challenges. They might also envision establishing synergistic partnerships with online education platforms to reach a wider audience and amplify their impact. Lastly, in their funding request, they could specify their need for seed capital to invest in advanced machine learning technology, marketing campaigns, and strategic partnerships. By being explicit about their requirements and intended usage, they create an aura of transparency and trust, making it easier for investors to get on board. Remember, it's about putting one foot in front of the other and starting the journey. Don't wait for everything to be perfect. Take the leap, start crafting your plan, and watch as it grows and evolves with your business. You've got this. And there you have it, folks. A step-by-step -step guide to crafting a business plan for your initial startup. Remember, the goal of a business plan is not just to attract investors but to guide your business towards success. It's your game plan, your blueprint, your roadmap. So take the time to do it right. As always, I hope this video has provided you with some valuable insights. If you have any questions or need further clarification on any of the points we've discussed today, please don't hesitate to drop a comment below. And, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow entrepreneurs. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll dive deeper into the world of startups and finance. Until then, keep dreaming, keep planning, and keep growing. This is Amateur Money, signing off.